The worst thing you can do is sit there and try to build the perfect application that's all theory-based and put it to market and realize that nobody wants it. First and foremost, you have to love what you do. Be brave. Jump in. Um, one of the exciting things about it, uh, you have to like change. Have that passion. If you have a passion for something, you believe it, you wake up every morning and it's still there, follow your gut. Through RAVE, Rochester Area Values Entrepreneurship, we honor and acknowledge the perseverance and drive of these remarkable individuals. We are pleased to introduce to you 2015's outstanding RAVE honorees. CEO and founder of the 2010 company River Bluff Technologies, Bob Schmaltz has been in the insurance and financial services industries for over 25 years. I realized that there was a lot of inefficiencies and errors in tracking client data and there was really no system at the time for independent agents. And in 2013, the company was ready to launch Smart Agent, moving clients from a paper-based solution to a technology-based solution. Well, what Smart Agent really does is it, it takes a lot of different information from lots of disparate sources, puts it into one place. And the future shows no signs of slowing down. President Dave Norris talks about next steps for the company and product expansion. The product's been well received in one vertical market of health and life insurance. We've targeted three total, and the second and third of which are financial planners and uh, employee benefits. And what does founder Bob Schmaltz attribute as some of the secrets to his entrepreneurial success? Probably the biggest thing is the realization that you don't have to do it alone. I have hired people that are more talented and, and, and more wise than I am in the industry, and that has just helped me expound on, on our company growing. Founder Al Burning started Ambient Clinical Analytics in 2013 with the aid of his Chief Technology Officer and Vice President of Software Development. The trio began fine-tuning healthcare software products for market. The technologies we have were developed within Mayo Clinic and used as internal tools before we licensed them. So one of the benefits we have as a startup is that these have actually been proven, they've been qualified, they've been in production for some time. One of those technologies called YesBoard focuses on the emergency department. Everyone's familiar with going to the emergency room. Most people hate it because they can't figure out how long they're gonna have to wait. What this does is manage all the movers, all the people, all the things occurring in an emergency department to minimize the wait time, optimize the clinician's time, improve the outcomes for the patient. Their flagship product, AWARE, is used in the intensive care setting. And AWARE is really all about how do you go after the problem of information overload. There's so much information about patients in an intensive care setting. And the company shows no sign of slowing down with preliminary customer conversations for both products in the works. We have uh, qualified and commercialized both YesBoard and AWARE. They are ready for customer installation. I've personally observed the benefits in both an emergency department as well as an ICU from the use of these tools, and that's what excites me. I was working on a different application, and the, we kept running the same problem over and over, and that was how do we get this information to the players in real time? And at one point, it just really made sense. Why don't we just give them a, a display? Like so many entrepreneurs, what started out as an idea in late 2013 became a business venture for founder and CEO Mike Rowley of GoRoute. It's a wearable te technology device that players wear on the field during practice and workouts. GoRoute allows coaches and players to digitally communicate everything from plays to coaching notes to techniques. With the touch of a button, a player can see his responsibility in full digital animation on his wrist, get on the ball and run the next rep. And the future looks bright for Rolly's team as GoRoute is already looking at expanding from a staff of three to nearly 20 by Christmas. We're seeing expansion now into Canada and we expect to be in the European Football Leagues uh, by the fall of next year. So we expect to be in Europe by next year. After 15 years of experience in the home infusion business, Jocelyn Raimundo realized the lack of services in southern Minnesota. I founded Rochester Home Infusion in 2013, and we have been serving patients for the last year and a half. 
Rochester Home Infusion allows patients the independence of delivering their own intravenous medications in the comfort of their own home. Some of our patients are needing um, intravenous medication for just a couple of weeks, sometimes months, and sometimes years. By customizing this care, the recovery process tends to be faster and less stressful for the patient. We know that Patients love what we do. Um, they want to be able to go home. They want to be able to resume their normal lives. And for Raimundo, it's not just about the efficiency of providing home health care service. It's much more personal. We really get to know our patients. We call them on a weekly basis. They call us anytime whenever they have questions. We are available for them 24-7. Congratulations to our 2015 Rave Honorees. This video generously provided by Home Federal Savings Bank and Mayo Clinic Ventures.